Hey guys, welcome to the Killian Family Homestead. Um, early morning, super excited about this opportunity. Um, done a lot of research online through YouTube, like I like we all do, and uh, have my first opportunity to do a cutout today. Um, cutout, if you're inexperienced in this, is simply a colony of bees has moved into someone's uh, garage or, or shed wall, and they've asked me to come. It's a good friend of mine. They asked me to come and, and cut out the beehive and I'm going to relocate them to my place using all this material here and uh, I'll show you how we do that. I am by no means a professional. This is again my first time doing it but I think I've learned enough from people like 628 Dirt Rooster and others on YouTube to see uh, how to do it and uh, super excited about this so thanks. I thought I'd take the opportunity to explain a little bit better what a cutout is. So what happens sometimes is when um, someone that has a beehive or even a feral beehive which is a little more rare nowadays but when people have beehives and they let those beehives swarm uh, the definition of a swarm is when the a queen uh, a mated queen flies out and she takes half or a third or so of the hive with her to go uh, propagate another hive another colony somewhere and so when the queen leaves the original hive and takes with her half the colony let's say they go and they land somewhere in a large cluster and from that cluster a lot of the scout bees will take off in all different types of directions and they'll go scout out a new place to live and in that process they then once they find a place and they know the dimensions and the and the you know whether it's cool and and dark and peaceful and um all of the right parameters that they like and size and scope of, of the new location. They come back and they try to convince the cluster to follow them by maybe sharing the scent, by maybe um, the vigorous shaking and the, the dances that they do, trying to get the hive to realize they should go. And eventually they'll choose one of the scout bees and the scout bee will lead them directly to the place that he found, he or she found rather, and then they make a new home out of that. And because those worker bees have filled their honey stomachs full of honey before leaving, they're able to produce wax very quickly and start to build new honeycomb. It's a pretty amazing process. Unfortunately, sometimes though, they, they find a, uh, an interior cavity of a wall or a chimney or something like that uh, where mankind and the bees don't mix. So. That's where people have to hire people to come do cutouts. Now, I'm not being hired to do this. I'm doing this uh, because I want the bees and also mainly because I'm wanting to help my friend get through this. Um, and I think it's an easy enough position where it's in a shed and the shed um, is going to be easy enough to take the walls down. So that is what we're going to be doing here and again i don't know what i'm getting myself into per se because i've never done it before i've just watched a lot of video clips about it so um, please critique me if you see anything and please like and subscribe if you like what you see here thanks guys here is the entrance here we're just going to remove these lateral slats look at that hive that is awesome. I am way underprepared. <laughs> okay, I think I have this thing exposed all the way now. We've rem removed the wood, thanks to the help of my friends here. So as you can see, we've got some a lot older comb here. It's dark in coloration. Then we've got some newer this year's comb, and all of that is honey. Phenomenal. So we've got some places to put honey. We've got some places to put trash. I'm gonna get the uh, wood out of the way and start rubber banding some of my brood comb so that I can get these bees moved into their new home. It's gonna be a tough deal to find the queen, but we can do it. Okay, you saw the little bit of clips and we'll show some more clips about the actual work of cutting it out and talking about some of the characteristics of the honeybee and the colony and why we're doing what we're doing, but I've cleaned it all up. Well, it's not clean per se. I mean, it's uh, all scraped out and the honeycombs have gone. Now the trick was to try to find the queen, which I told you was going to be tough and I did not find the queen, but I tried to be very careful in putting uh, where the brood comb was directly into the hive. Uh, 
I hope the queen is in the hive, but I'm not seeing the traditional signs of them marching in. Ooh, they got me. Got a few stings, but that's no problem whatsoever. This was a very big cutout and uh, was so much fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this right here. You see how that the entrance is butted up against the, the wall there and I hope that they eventually get the message to walk right in there because that's where all their brood is. Many of the bees are loyal to the brood and then the rest of the bees are loyal to the queen so that's why you always hope to get the queen inside but if I were a betting man I, I think the queen is down there and uh, that's not exactly great. So. We're just gonna play this by ear, take it slow, and let the bees do what they're gonna do. There's a lot of cleanup that the bees are gonna do, and then they're gonna come back, and they'll probably start wanting to build wax somewhere, and we'll eventually get them convinced to go inside this box. We'll do some updates some other time, or maybe attached to the rest of this video. Thanks, take care. Okay, on my way back home to get cleaned up, and uh, hopefully the bees will march into their new house um, the rest of the afternoon and evening time that kicked my butt um, I had so much fun but that was a lot of bees and a lot of honey and I didn't have a bee vac like I told you already and so the, 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 the theory of the bee vac is that you can suck up all the bees and methodically look for the queen a little more effectively and by so doing ensure that the queen and it kind of just, I guess, manually take all the bees in one big thing and then stick them in the hive. I'm trying to do in the old fashioned, I'm doing the old fashioned method of hopefully finding the queen, which I didn't, sticking the queen and a bunch of bees, nurse bees, on top of the cutout comb that you've, been, you've rubber banded into the frames. And then the rest of the bees will be searching for the queen and the hive and they'll scent and find her and march themselves into the new home. That's the theory. We shall see what happens over the next few hours. Okay, it's been four hours or so since the initial cutout, or maybe even more time. Um, but when we came out here, we saw that they were starting to build up and festoon uh, in this area. So we cut out this and scooped them up and put them in here. Never saw the queen, simply because of the sheer number of, of bees we were dealing with. But I scooped them and dumped them inside of here. And now I'm seeing some marching going on. It's kind of tough to tell when you're looking at any one individual bee, but there's kind of a migration happening up this wall and over here. And uh, there's going to be a few access points for them for a while. I can tell this, one, this board is warping a little bit, so there'll be some access there for them to go in. But really, I'm hoping that there'll be a march down into the in main entrance and inside. I'm pretty sure one deep and one medium super with all the frames in there should be enough for them to to be in there and, and to get acclimated so the plan is to wait for them to establish themselves in this box i think the queen's in there and then take this hive away it's been a fun project thanks for coming along with me